Club first, uh, first Prize Kids and everyone else. Um, uh, Megamo Loudon or Lauren in English. Uh, if you can right now, uh, I'd love if you could grab a piece of scratch paper. We're going to need it later. Um, so run and grab that. Uh, si puede saca un papel ahora, lo necesitaremos más tarde. Esto es mi amiga Paula, if you remember her. Hola, niños. Hola, adultos especiales. Estoy tan feliz de estar de vuelta contigo hoy. And I'm so happy to be with you, Paula, and all our First Press kids and special grown-ups. Um, maybe by now you know I'm going to say that you should turn to your special grown-up and thank each other with a hug, a high five, um, or the American Sign Language sign for thank you. So thank you for being here today. Decirles gracias para estar contigo hoy. Es difícil ser un adulto y también es difícil ser un niño. Los dos necesitan gratitud. Yes, Paula, it is hard to be an adult and hard to be a kid. And we all deserve gratitude and hugs if we want them. Uh, we have to have empathy for each other. ¿Qué es empatía otra vez? Oh, empathy is being able to feel what others are feeling alongside them. It's saying, my heart feels what your heart feels, no matter the feeling. Claro, recuerdo, es como hablamos la semana pasada. Tener un corazón tierno y abierto, no un corazón duro y cerrado como un puño. Right. We want soft and open hearts, not closed hard hearts like the scripture from Matthew 13, 15 through 16 talks about. A big part of a soft heart and having empathy is paying attention. So we're going to play a quick game today to help us pay attention. But I think we'll need another friend to help us out. So before we play, let's sing our welcome song for our new friend. Sí, cantamos nuestro canción de bienvenidos. Uh, do you want to lead us this morning, Paula? Sí, sí, adultos, especiales, nosotros niños siempre les estamos observando. Ustedes tienen que ser modelos, ¿verdad, Lauren? Yes, that's right. That's why I love to see everyone singing our welcome song. Bueno, abre bien los brazos y movimiento hacia tu cuerpo y cantamos come to the table tres veces. Entonces, bailaremos y cantamos and celebrate with us. And this week, let's sing a second verse. Un verso segundo, we'll sing, you are my sibling, and sign the word for sibling. Uso a señal para sibling, like this. Fantástico. ¿Estamos listos? We're ready? Okay. Come to the table. Come to the table. Come to the table and celebrate with us. We are all siblings. We are all siblings. We are all siblings, so celebrate with us. <laughs> Yay, good job, everyone. Hurra, hurra, ahora vamos a jugar un juego con un amigo nuevo. Yes, now we can play our game with our new friend, Russell. Hola, Russell. Vamos a jugar un juego para aprender sobre empatía. But how can a game teach us about empathy? Well, empathy is not something you just have or don't have. It's something we have to practice. But God gave us lots of tools, some of them different, for practicing empathy. Today, the tool we are learning about is our eyes. Um, but Lauren, oh, some, oh, sorry, but, but Lauren, some people don't have good vision or are blind. Sí, Lauren, algunos no pueden ver bien o en absoluto con sus ojos. You're both right. And I can tell just by you saying that, that you have empathy and you are using your eyes to look at the world and understand others better. Lo que dijeron me muestra que ustedes tienen empatía. It's true that some people are blind or lose their vision suddenly or over time. And God created us all so uniquely, wonderfully, and on purpose. And actually, with so many different senses, not only vision, but also hearing, smell, taste, touch, which reminds me of a rhyme. Lauren, dijiste que podíamos jugar un juego, pero ahora estás hablando de cómo Dios nos creó de manera diferente, buena y a propósito. 
¿Y quieres hacer un rima? Lo siento. I'm sorry. I just can't help myself. Please, just a, a quick rhyme before the game. What do you think, Russell? Everyone else? ¿Qué piensan ustedes? Do we have time for a rhyme? Well, I'm new here, so I'd love to hear a rhyme, Lauren, and maybe I can teach it to my baby sister later. Yay, okay, it's a quick and easy one, una rima facil. Uh, big kids and grownups, you're just going to follow along and point to the parts of the body in the rhyme that, um, si, es, si eres mayor, puedes señalar por tu cuenta. If you have a baby or toddler at home, this is a good rhyme to teach about the body parts and the senses that God gave us. Si tienes un bebé, es una rima para enseñar los partes de cuerpo que Dios nos dio. And you can guide them to use their own hands to point to the parts, guiarlas para usar sus manos, or you can point to them the way I'm going to do with Paula. Puedes hacerlo de la manera que yo lo haré. ¿Listos? It's very quick rhyme. If you blink, you're going to miss it. So it goes like this. <laughs> two little eyes to look around, two little ears to hear each sound, one little nose to smell what's sweet, and one little mouth that likes to eat. Ahora el juego. Yes, the game. Okay, okay. I'm going to show you a tray of items for 15 seconds. Uh, muestra unos objetos para 15 segundos. Then I'm going to remove an item. Entonces yo sacaré un objeto and you're going to tell me what's missing. Y dime lo que falta. Got it? Okay, listos? Estoy lista. Oh wait, I forgot. Espera, me olvidé. Right now, take your scratch paper and roll it up like a telescope. Saca tu papel ahora y hacer un telescopio. You have to use this telescope to look at your screen and objects on the tray. Tienes que usar este telescopio para ver los objetos que mostraré en la pantalla. Listos? Are you ready at home? I see, I see some adults with their paper. I can't see everybody on the screen, but it looks like we're ready. Okay. Uh, let me, okay, here is the tray. Is everybody ready? Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, and quince. Okay, I'm gonna remove an item now. And then I'm gonna show you again. You don't have to use your telescope to look this time. Okay, here we go. Put it in the chat as soon as you see it. What object is missing? Dun, dun, dun. Looks like we're getting some answers. I'm going to take it down now. Someone says snail. Yes, very close. It's a, it was the shell, the bit, banana. It was there before. Yes, and it's still there. It's tricky because this tray is kind of um, has a lot going on too. Um, good job, everyone. Uh, hey, that was hard. I thought the telescope was special, a special tool to help us. I didn't even have time to look at everything. What about you at home? You seem to get it. The missing piece was the shell or snail. <laughs> No pude verlo. Sorry. <laughs> no pude ver lo que había allí o lo que faltaba con el telescopio. Solo pude enfocar un poco. Yes, while some people at home could see everything and are just so clever even with the telescope and could tell what was missing, some of us could only focus on a little bit at a time, which made it hard to observe what happened. Sometimes, like the scripture says, uh, people have closed eyes, not literally, but... Yo recuerdo esto de la escritura en Mateo 13 de el domingo pasado que dice, este pueblo se les han cerrado los ojos. Even though I have my vision and I had my eyes open with the telescope, it was as if we had our eyes closed. A telescope can be a great tool, but it can also hurt us and everyone when we use it to limit our vision, focus only on what we want or like. Sí, con el telescopio fue como no puedo ver todo, solo un poquito lo que quiero ver. Esto puede lastimar a los demás. Yes, sometimes we fail to 
see unfair treatment or injustice or speak up and take action to change it. Just like you didn't notice what was missing because we're too focused on our own lives. Es verdad que a veces no notó cuando algunos son maltratados o son tratados injustamente porque me concentró en mi propia vida. Pero yo sé que el resto de la escritura dice, pero dichosos los ojos de ustedes porque ven. Oh, I like that translation. Not blessed are those who see, but blissful are your eyes because they see. What do you think, Russell? I think it's funny that our eyes will be blissful, happy when we see injustice, but what I think it means is that Jesus wants us not only to see injustice and unfair treatment, but also to speak up and take action to change it. We have to widen our vision, our telescopes to include everyone so that all of God's children will be happy, blissful, blessed. Estoy de acuerdo, Russell. Es un poco cómico de pensar que nuestros ojos serán dichosos cuando ven injusticia, pero no significa que Jesús nos quiere no solo para ver injusticia, sino también hable y cambiarlo. Tenemos que ampliar nuestra visión. Es tan fácil y tan difícil. Indeed, it's all that easy and it's all that hard. Thanks everyone for joining me at the First Press Kids table. I'd love if you could join me now in our prayer song to close our time together. Espero que cantes. Uh, I hope you'll sing along, make up some motions as we sing um, or pray with one hand on our heart. Pone un mano en tu corazón because it's where we feel compassion. Es donde sentimos compasión. And one on our heads, uno en tu cabeza because it's where we plan to put compassion into action. Es donde pensamos en poner la compasión en acción. And it goes like this. If you remember, I have my ukulele again this time. La canción dice, de cierre dice así. May we be filled with compassion. May we be filled up to the top of our hearts when we have the power to make something right, may we show God's love. One more time. May we be filled with compassion. May we be filled up to the top of our hearts when we have the power to make something right. May we show God's love. May we show God's love. Amen. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you next week.